And CMS officials say they are seeing progress, but there's still a lot of work to do. That is their assessment of the 2021-22 year. Well, they say work is improving, but some numbers show decline in key areas. Now, Queen City News reporter Will Lewis live at Allenbrook Elementary School. Well, they're showing improvement, but the graduation rate has fallen slightly. What can you tell us? Yeah, that's right, Alicia. That graduation rate has fallen from 84% to 83.3% in the CMS district. And also, CMS added a number of low improvement school or low and low um, performing schools across the district. But workers say there is improvement. Students returned to the classrooms across the CMS district as we emerged out of the pandemic in 2021 to 22. But the year-end numbers show some good and bad. Across the country, we have a dramatic challenge before us. And not just in Charlotte-Mecklenburg schools, but in any rural, suburban, urban school district. Some of the numbers have improved from the previous year, like reading proficiency for grades 3 through 8. The district seeing a slight increase from 44% to 45.7, but the number is still lower than the start of the pandemic when reading proficiency was at 54.4%. CMS Chief Equity Officer Frank Barnes says people need to understand that during the pandemic, some of these students were below some of the proficiency standards. What these data show is that our recovery has begun, the bounce back is taking place, and we want to keep up that momentum this school year. With schools improving, there are some concerning numbers for the district and community. The graduation rate and CMS went down slightly from 84% to 83.3%. Also, the number of low performing schools in CMS increased from 42 to 50, but the increase is better than the state average. Also, 14 schools that were listed as low performing in 2018 to 2019 are no longer low performing schools. We've increased the number of schools that received the low performing designation. However, we want to recognize that if we had the amount that the state had on average, we'd have over 75 schools with the low performing state designation. The district has put in place more goals to improve, like identifying students who need extra help in the classroom, reducing the size of classes to give more attention and more student monitoring throughout the year. But interim superintendent Hugh Hadabaugh says the state needs to help as well with money to recruit teachers. Is the state legislature really supportive of public education or not? So I think that's a question that has to be answered. Now, district officials do say that they are happy with all the numbers, even though some are still below those proficiency standards. And CMS says they are continuing to recruit teachers. And when the next year end of year numbers are released, they expect to see a large increase. We're live in West Charlotte. Will Lewis, Queen City News. Well, thank you for that report. Well, math and reading scores for America's nine year olds fell dramatically during the first two years of the pandemic. And we're now reviewing the latest study from a national study that shows reading scores saw their largest drop in 30 years.